Well, it's a fun day here at the Corporate Business Center at Schneider. We have Jason from Freightliner with a version of our eCascadia day cab that we're looking forward to deploying in our intermodal operations soon in Southern California. So Jason, why don't you tell us a little bit about what we got here? Sure, so this is our Generation 2 product, fully electric, 400 volts. We've got batteries under the cab here. Our charger's inlet is right here. So we have dual port charging, so if you're fully out of juice, you can charge back up to 100% in less than two hours. So as a great driver of this vehicle, what kind of range are you getting? We say a typical range is 220 miles. Great drivers are definitely gonna do better. From a maintenance perspective, how much less do we have to maintain by going to an electric truck? Great question. So our maintenance manual has 44% less items. You've got a very sophisticated system, but it's also simple at the same time. As you can see, no more uh, internal combustion engine. Most of the components up here are accessories that were driven by the engine previously. Well, there's only one thing left to do. Let's take it for a ride. Where's all the noise? It's a thing of the past. There's no noise, there's no smell. Tell people what regenerative braking means. Regenerative braking is essentially using the motors as generators. So as you accelerate the vehicle, you're applying power and torque to the motors, which propels you forward. When you want to slow down, you use regenerative properties or regeneration process to then take that mechanical energy, turn it into electrical energy, and put that back into the batteries. So you're essentially recharging the batteries every time you slow down and right. stop. Extends range. It does extend range. It's very critical to the process. You'll find with drivers that utilize it the most, they'll definitely go farther on a charge than than those that don't use it at all. There's that smooth acceleration and speed. It's a very stable vehicle as well because the batteries create a low center of gravity. So a lot of drivers have noticed that this, this ride, even on rough roads, is, is better than, than what they're used to. Today we get to talk about the truck, but there's the other equation of this is the old infrastructure on charging. And certainly we've had a lot of learning on that is as important and perhaps even uh, more time consuming in many regards than than getting the truck built. If you can't fuel your truck up, you can't use it. That's what we're excited about Southern California because it's not just a test a vehicle or two, it'll be a predominant part of our operation and so it'll be a very good operational test, not just an electric test. So looking forward to that. All right, Jason, that was fantastic. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.